Hey, what's happening guys? Happy Friday to you. Today, we're going to take a look at this little module right here that has a piece of wire installation stuck to it. That was my fault. I ordered this from, a, you can pretty much guess who I ordered it from, from Timu. This is a uh, Class D 50 watt digital amplifier board. And it uses the uh, Texas Instruments TPA 3116 uh, D2 chip that is underneath that heat sink there. So this board was like seven bucks for a 50 amp stereo amplifier, totally digital. So if we take a look here, here's the, uh, the front of the board. We've got a uh, 1 8 inch uh, stereo input jack there. Then we have what it looks to be a balanced input here. But I'm not entirely sure if it's balanced. It might just be stereo. We have a uh, 50K switched pot for power and for volume. We've got some super big, uh, what are these, are Chong X caps? Yeah, Chong X. Uh, filter caps on there. These little square guys are also capacitors, inductors. With a big diode. Bunch of little caps there. Anyway, this is our input side here. As you can see, we have VCC and ground, and then we have left out and right out. And this is a 24 volt uh, system it doesn't have to run on 24 volts, but you know, that's the max. I mean, if you want to get the 50 watts out of it, of course, the impedance on your speakers is uh, going to matter too. So, I got this, like I said, for seven bucks. And the reason I got it was for that mixer I also got from Timu. That's an unpowered mixer, and I thought it would uh, work well with these studio monitors I have here, but. It just needs a little bit more grunt because you know these these are powered but it just needs a little more grunt so i was plugging them into can you see that thing with the three gray knobs on top that's an audio interface and kind of using that in the computer as my amp but i want to get away from that so we got this guy here and uh Let's hook it up and see how it, how it works. Hopefully it'll work, right? All right, so we're going to hook up power with this little uh, 2.5, 1 millimeter, 2.5, 4 millimeter pigtail. So we will get that going in here. Let's see which one is VCC. This one is VCC. Come on. There we go. Get up on in there. Get on up in there. All right, so we have our power connected. Now we'll hook up our uh, speaker connections as well. I soldered up a couple of uh, quarter inch jacks this morning. The, uh, being that these come from, you know, China, they don't come with much in the way of documentation at all. Thank heaven there's a little bit, you know, printed on the circuit board. And I'll show you the ad where I ordered this from as well. It did have a, a little diagram. 
And I was looking at the data sheet for the uh, Texas Instruments TPA 31162 or whatever it is. And it is a really sophisticated little IC that can be set up to do a bunch of different things. For instance, it has a AM radio rejection that can be uh, adjusted through the switching frequencies. And that's set with uh, resistors. But, you know, this is set as it's set, and you get what you get. If this works out, maybe I'll print up a little... Uh, Three D printed enclosure for this thing. All right, let's uh, spread everything out, and we'll start by connecting our speakers. Make sure it is off, which it is. Then I'll hook up power. Alright, so it's hooked up, like I said, to a 24-volt uh, wall wart right there. Our speakers are plugged in. Click this on, make sure we don't let any smoke out. We've got a uh, blue LED there indicating that it's working. Don't see any smoke. I don't hear anything angry out of the speakers. Yeah, there's some there's some static, but there's gonna be, that's not a problem. Okay, it's off. You can hear the hum. That's on, hum is gone. Alright, let me get set up and we'll move along. Alright, so I have the uh arbitrary waveform generator set for a one kilohertz square wave or sine wave rather at a half a volt and it's outputting to that little wireless dongle there and the wireless dongle is going to that one over there which is outputting through the mixer into that three and a half or a one eighth, eighth inch uh, stereo input and that is going to my studio monitors so if we power this up give it a little volume there's our one kilohertz tone Tone sounds pretty good. I have no complaints with that whatsoever. Very, very cool. Alright guys, that worked uh, surprisingly well. And it is truly amazing times we live in where you can get a 50 watt stereo amplifier that is relatively harmonically clean, not too much distortion, for 7 bucks. Currently, these are sold out, but I will put a link down below. You can watch if, you know, if it's something you're interested in. You can grab one up. Um, again, this was from Timu, and it is called XH-M189 2x50-watt digital amplifier board. DC 24-volt TPA 3116-D2 dual-channel stereo amplifier board with tuner, switch, and screw. <laughs> very descriptive description right all right guys if you enjoyed this give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons big thanks to you guys for watching that's it i'm out peace